Hi guys, this is BB Chess Channel. Today we'll see a game between former world chess champion, the magician from Riga, Mika Utal, and his opponent, grandmaster from Bulgaria, Georgi Tringov. The game was played in Amsterdam in 1964, and Tal plays as white pieces and Tringov as black. Let's have a look. Tal opens with e4, g6, d4, bishop g7, fianchetto, controlling the center, knight to c3, string of d6, knight f3, c6, bishop to g5, stopping the king pawn for a while, and now string of plays queen to b6, just pressuring b2 pawn. So what you can do now, you can play your rook to b1, for example, just to defend this, but Tal is not interested and he plays queen to b2. So right, string of plays, queen takes on b2, rook to b1, queen has to move, so queen a3, bishop c4, queen a5, and white castles kingside. So have a look at the position now. Black queen is out of black camp, already wasted a few moves for taking a pawn on b2, and uh, both knights, light square bishop and the both rooks didn't even move. King is still in the middle. Um, quite far away from castling, uh, black square bishop is only the piece does something. And look at the white. Every piece is developed, both of white rooks are connected and uh, it looks quite good for white and the tal is ready to start the attack. String of plays e6 and this is another pawn move and a first mistake, but there was for example 9 to g7 just developing move. And now tal plays Rook f to e1, a6, just wasting another move with the pawn, so bishop to f4, attacking the pawn, and also inviting black to push e5, and unfortunately, string of plays e5, and this is another mistake, but it was, for example, getting your queen back to c7, and then after that, just develop your knights and try to castle. Tal decided to open the D-line and place D takes on E5, string of takes on E5, and queen to D6. And it looks like he's offering free bishop on F4 and the free knight on C3. What's the plan now? If you would play, for example, E takes bishop on F4, then knight to F5, just threatening checkmate on C7, so the first option is just to give up your queen, but that would be a checkmate. The second option is, after taking this knight, then e takes on d5, we've discovered check from rook, and now your king can move as all squares are covered, so you have to block this by your bishop to e5, then rook takes on e5 check, king still can move, so light square bishop needs to block on a6, but then e takes on a6, your queen is under attack on a5, and uh, there's no really good square for your queen, so if you move it back, for example, to d8, then e takes on f7, checkmate. And also, you can't block this by your knight going to e7, because of similar idea, e takes on f7, check, king can go to f8 only, and then queen takes on e7, check, king to g7, and f8 getting another queen and checkmate. Instead of that, string of plays, queen takes knight on c3, and rook to d1 with an idea, queen to d1, checkmate. So in the game, knight blocks on d7, and this is a mistake, but it was, for example, bishop to f6, just to stop checkmate on d1, but this would just extend the loss. So now, Tal plays bishop takes on f7, check. First of all, if you wouldn't accept the sacrifice on f7 and move your king to d8, then knight to g5, threatening checkmate on e6, so what you can do, you can just move your queen to c4 and block this, but then would be another great sacrifice, rook to d5, blocking the black queen. And now, you can't take it by pawn, because there would be still checkmate on a6 on the next move, so for example, this is checkmate and if the rook would be taken by your queen then pawn takes your queen and uh, whatever black gonna play there will be still checkmate on e6 on the next move so for example 
and this is checkmate. In the game, black accepts the sacrifice and took bishop on f7, then knight to g5 check, king to e8, and queen to e6 check, and black resigned. The question is why? You can't move your king to f8 as queen f7, this is checkmate, but this is pretty obvious. Um, also, you can go to d8, but then knight to f7 check, king has to go to c7, and queen to d6 checkmate. And the game is over. Thank you for watching. If you like the content of this video, please subscribe my channel and feel free to leave some comment below. Bye now.